superpower is going to tickle the Metagross. Earthquake is going to be an overkill. Oh my goodness. Here comes the Dialga. Boom, there it is. Dialga one shot. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Ox here with another video. If you're new to the channel, we do upload Pokemon Go content mostly related to PvP. So please consider subscribing to the channel if that is of interest to you. And if you're a returning subscriber, like view cool, thank you for the support. In today's video, we are taking a look at a shoutcast of some Master League battles, and this is the Open Master League with XL Pokemon, so anything goes. Level 50, 51 with Best Buddy, if you got it, you can use it. For this particular video, we are shoutcasting some battles submitted to me by KLCC158. The specific team that this player is running is a Groudon lead. This Groudon is only level 40, a level 49.5 Metagross with Best Buddy, and a level 50. Mel Metal. So these are not the easiest Pokemon to power up. Of course, they are some of the more accessible ones with Meltan being in the boxes and Belden being around for some time now, including a community day, but still a very difficult team to obtain. Okay, now I wasn't expecting this interruption. However, Charlie has decided to join us for the video here. So say hello to everyone, Charlie. This is not a format that I would play myself because I do not have the Pokemon. However, I am interested in seeing how it performs and I'm more interested in seeing how Metagross performs. So if you guys enjoy this type of content, please make sure you smash that like button. It really helps the channel grow. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. And without any further ado, let's jump into the first battle right now. All right, so let's jump into the first battle here. We got John Care 4 in the first matchup. Now looking at this team, you can notice that it is pretty weak to opposing Groudons. The double steal in the back is going to have problems. Something like Excadrill even could be an issue. So it is a somewhat risky team to use. However, it is pretty much anti-Dialga throughout. The lead matchup here, we see Mewtwo. This is not a great matchup for Groudon. However, if you land the Earthquake, it becomes a very favorable matchup. So let's see if the opponent decides to shield this or not. They let it go through. So that means Groudon's going to win. This actually swaps out into the Metagross to catch the side strike so that is a very nice swap right there the side strike doing nothing to this level 49.5 metagross however there is a shadow machamp in the back and this is actually a problematic pokemon for almost this entire lineup to be honest it has a decent match against metagross as well as the melmetal this looks like a level 50 machamp actually here so that is quite the flex actually i think it's level 50 hundo shadow machamp so that is a huge flex right there and definitely want to max that out. Here comes Groudon back in. Groudon has a decent matchup against Machamp here, so going to throw a Fire Punch. Definitely want to keep this thing away from the Melmetal, so you love to see it take that damage right there. Gonna let this Cross Chop come through, and that's gonna be doing some nice damage to the Groudon. Gyarados comes in, and this is a GG Melmetal about to take care of business right here. So Gyarados gonna throw these Aqua Tails, but Rock Slide is going to be doing a lot of damage here and Melmetal is going to be able to win this game. Opponent still has three Pokemon. That is some weird looking visual glitch lag thing that we saw right there. Not sure what that is. Either way, Aquatail comes through. The Rock Slide apparently hasn't been clicked yet, so not really sure what is going on there, but Rock Slide going to come through. This is also enough to take out the Gyarados here. Gyarados is going to be very common in this XL Master League meta as well. The Machamp comes back in, gets farmed down by the Thundershock, and the Mewtwo with I think one HP is going to resign, taking that first game there off to a 1-0 start. So let's jump into match number two here. We got Run Dirk. And we're leading Groudon into a Snorlax here. So this is a pretty neutral matchup in general here. That Snorlax does not look like it's a level 50 though. So Mewtwo swaps in. Here comes the Metagross now. This could be a somewhat risky matchup if the Mewtwo is running, say, Shadow Ball here, but going to shield up this first move here. It's actually a side strike, and now going to throw the Meteor Bash. Now, the thing is, I believe Metagross at level 50 ish actually can beat Mewtwo even if it does have Shadow Ball. So you can see the power of Metagross in this meta. Going to take another side strike here, calling the bait. 
and we see a little bit of lag going to throw the meteor mash opponent is going to throw here again not shielding once more let's see what it is this time it is the focus back that's going to one shot the metacross Oof! here comes the Groudon back in this Mewtwo is within fire punch range more or less now so this should be close to enough to KO the Mewtwo maybe it is enough yeah it is so Mewtwo goes down Giratina comes in the back now this isn't the greatest matchup however because this Melmetal is a level 50 and this Giratina does not look like it is a level 50 maybe like level 41 right, it's like slightly XL here or could just be the best buddy boost this should be a much better matchup and a great catch there on the Dragon Claw really going to help out this matchup. Snorlax comes back in. This should be a good matchup for the Melmetal because once again it is level 50 and that's kind of the thing about this open Master League concept. You know you're going to run into some opponents who don't have level 50 mods and it sort of becomes like level 50 versus 41. It's kind of like weird in that sense and I'm not really sure why Niantic keeps this league available instead of something like say the original Master Premier without XLs or just leaving Classic alone. Um, I don't know like this this format isn't for me but I know there are some players who do enjoy this type of format so I guess as long as there's enough players playing it it makes sense to have it but personally I wouldn't want to play it in particular because you know, it really favors XL Pokemon. And me personally, I don't really have any XL Pokemon at all. So I would get destroyed in this particular format. But you can see Groudon here going for the Earthquake. This will be enough to take out the Giratina here. And going to win this second game on the power of these XL Pokemon. I mean, the Groudon's not XL. The Groudon is just uh, level 40 Hundo, I believe. So next matchup here. We got Ryzka. And Charlie here is panting for whatever reason. Sweating from these somewhat sweaty battles. Giratina Origin, a pretty difficult lead here for Groudon, but actually Giratina Origin is another Pokemon that kind of gives this team problems if you think about it. Does well against the Melmetal, does well against the Metagross, and even does well against the Groudon here. So pretty much forced to shield there as a result because Groudon's gonna have the best matchup here, I'd imagine, against the Giratina Origin. So you wanna keep it alive for that. Earthquake goes through, which is huge, because at this point you just go straight fire punches. It might not be exactly in Fire Punch range yet, but it's very close. Going to let this Shadow Ball go through, we'll survive that. And now throw the Fire Punch, let's see if the opponent's going to shield this or let it go through. Actually might have double Fire Punch rate, so this could be a problem for the opponent. They do shield, and going to get to this second Fire Punch, so the opponent now is in a really tough spot. Probably going to let this go through. They do, so the Groudon wins switch advantage on even shields. And the Alga comes in, two amazing answers for the Alga here in the Metagross and the Melmetal. So this game is looking pretty difficult for the opponent right here. Unless they have their own ground on the back, then they could pretty much win, which is kind of crazy when you think about how swingy some of these matches are actually based on these specific team comps. So Superpower are going to come through here. That's going to get the final shield from the Alga in simultaneous switch into Melmetal. This is GG's. Metagross going to one shot here with the Earthquake. Superpower is going to tickle the Metagross, but definitely not going to do anything. And with the debuff there, you can see that literally does nothing to this level. 49.5 Metagross Earthquake is going to be an overkill. Oh my goodness. Here comes the Dialga, and the opponent backs out of the match. So let's jump into the next one. Currently 3 0 in this set. We got Pokemark. 8888888 and leading Groudon into a Zekrom. So a positive lead here, of course, is dependent on landing the Earthquake, of course. So let's see if they go for the bait or the Earthquake. Looks like he's clicking the Earthquake already. So no baits here, just going straight nukes. Earthquake is going to do a lot of damage here to the Zekrom. They do shield that up. That would pretty much win the lead for the Groudon right there. So Zekrom going to throw a Crunch here, I'd imagine. Goes unshielded. And Groudon should get to this next Earthquake. However, this Zekrom could actually take Switch Match if it wants to shield here. However, it will go down two shields to zero at this point. So Groudon going to throw the Earthquake. Pony lets that go through. They lose Switch and a shield. That is not good. The Alga comes in, farms down. And once again, you could see the double steal in the back. Going to have its way with Dialga here. But again, it's not over because leaving both your double steel Pokemon, leaving both your steel type Pokemon in the back leaves it obviously susceptible to a ground type coming in, something like Groudon or an Excadrill could give it a lot of problems. 
So it isn't necessarily game over. And here is that Groudon we were talking about. Going to throw the move here. It's only a fire punch, but this is going to do a lot of damage. Does get the shield from the Metagross. Now, Meteor Mash does still hurt. Let's see if the Groudon's going to shield here. I imagine it is going to shield because this is pretty much the only win condition for the opponent at this point. Meteor Mash comes through, does get the shield. Opponent can farm down, so they're going to throw the Fire Punch here. Metagross going to let this go through. I think the opponent pr probably could have got a bit more farm there before throwing. However, you don't want to give that Metagross energy. Could potentially shield up. So here comes the memo. This is a very difficult spot still, especially because you have to debuff yourself now. And you can't switch out to reset. First superpower comes through. Going to throw the second one. This should not be enough to KO the ground, but it's going to get it very low. And okay, that is not enough. The ground swaps out into Dialga. Dialga does not have the move. Melmetal gets to a third superpower here. It's already been debuffed twice. This is going to be the third time opponent backs out with a shield in hand still. That is absolutely insane. And that was a Groudon in the back, so. Again, the Groudon, of course, is an XL, which makes it a bit harder. To, like, I mean, it's a Groudon against an XL Melmetal and an XL Metagross, so I mean, even though the ground has a good matchup, it's still very difficult because of the level difference, right? So here, we see Giratina Origins, Giratina Origin come in as a swap, and of course, Groudon has to pretty much stay in here, so going to throw the Earthquake, no baiting right here. I think staying in, uh, well, it depends, because staying in kind of says you're going for Earthquake, unless you're trying to throw energy with a bait and then swap out. In this case, because you don't have a better counter, you're going to be staying in, but the opponent does not know that. So here comes the Shadow Ball, and this Groudon is going to build up for two Fire Punches, throw the first one right here. This should be knockout range, I believe, at this point for the Giratina. They do shield again, the swap out into, okay, swap out into the swipe off the screen. Notifications, Super Flex right there, catches the Shadow Ball, and the Melmetal comes in. So going to throw the Super Power here, again, this is a level 50 Melmetal against a not sure if this is non xl this probably i don't think this is xl not mellow to be honest so it's a pretty tough spot actually lets this go through and it gets the rock slide i'm not sure if they let that go through because the XL Melmetal could survive a superpower while being debuffed maybe i don't know if he knows that i don't know that personally i don't know what the gameplay is like with level 50 versus level 40 but caught the rock slide anyway so that's a big break right there and i'm gonna throw this rock slide at the giratina origin and that is going to go down. And of course, here's the Dialga in the back. And you got the hard counter in the Metagross. Going to go straight for the Earthquake here. And just like that, we are going to look for a boom to finish off this video. Boom! There it is. Dialga one shot. And that is going to be a perfect 5-0 set with this XL team. So those were the battles with the XL team minus Groudon. Level 50 Melmetal, level 49.5 Best Buddy Metagross in the Open Master League. As you can see, this team does have its risks. It's very weak to Giratina Origin. It's very weak to an opposing Groudon. Very weak to something like Landorus. But overall, the team performed very well in this set. Got some good matchups. If you could catch the Dialga, you're going to be in a really good spot because this is pretty much triple counter to Dialga on this team. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like commenting, subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.